Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Weekly Bite where we got some exciting news! I'd like to congratulate Keenan B on winning our TV contest for our 10k sub goal. And, as we speak, David's walking over to the warehouse so it can be shipped and delivered to you. It's on its way! So I hope you're as excited as we are and thanks again everyone for entering. Thanks for being part of the channel and getting us to where we are right now. And our second winner this week is actually TL. We really want to thank you for your great feedback and constructive criticism. Uh, we are working together with you guys, the community, to build our channel identity. And there's a lot of great video ideas in there. And I personally, I think I'm going to spearhead one of them, the gaming chair. Does it make you a better gamer? Yes or no? I really want to compare it to our office chair over here and we'll see what happens here. So thank you so much for the feedback. And TL, you did win. Yourself, the D-Link cover. Just like that. So thank you so much for your feedback. If you guys haven't checked out David's video, I really recommend you check it out. It's fantastic and lots of good information there. So guys, it's super easy for you guys to win as well. All you have to do is comment, give us some good feedback, some constructive feedback, positive, negative, doesn't matter. As long as it's helping us grow the channel, you guys can win too. So this week, we have the Linksys VELOP system for Wi-Fi. So you just gotta comment, let us know some feedback and this could be going home with you next week. So TL, make sure you get a hold of us on social media or even email so we can get you your prize. So let's dive into the rest of the episode. Alexa, I'm so sad. Play Despacito. Nice. Alexa, change the color of my thermal take fans. That's right guys, not only will Alexa play Despacito 2 for you, but with a new partnership with Thermaltake, they have announced, essentially, smart fan color changing. It's pretty sweet. So, here's the deets. That's right guys, Alexa can do more than just play last year's summer hit. It can now work in harmony with Thermaltake's latest ring trio. That's right, ring with two eyes, guys. Ready their fans. It will work through Thermaltake's TT RGB Plus software and TT AI voice, control fan speeds, LED light controls. Thermaltake shared in a press conference earlier this week that it's a very intuitive software. Simply say, Alexa, thermal take, and boom, you're on your path to changing your lights, for sound, softness, all that fun stuff. However, we have not confirmed yet if it can change to music tones, gaming environments, or whatnot, as this is just a very new technology. I'm pretty excited to see what this can do, as this is really gonna set forth what the other guys do. Or you see something from Oris and RGB, or we can see something from our friends at Asus with this. Who knows? But this is exciting technology, so Alexa, change the lights in here. If you're anything like David, you're probably ripping your nails out over waiting for news on Fallout 76, specifically if you're gonna get the Power Armor Edition or some information on the beta. Well, lucky for you, I have news for one of those things. Beta! It turns out that on the Bethesda forums, they gave us some more information and it's not looking too good. So let's dive into that. As shared on their forum, we won't be diving into the beta anytime soon. It looks as far as October. As Bethesda has shared, they'll be selecting people who have pre-ordered the game for the beta. To me, it almost sounds as if they're not making sure everyone gets in the beta. This seems very selective. There was a well-open question session for the panel at QuakeCon this year. So if you are attending or you're going to be watching the Mixer stream, which seems to be exclusive, you have a chance to ask a question about the game and the development. So what questions would you guys have? Would it be around the beta? Would it be about the gameplay? Personally, I really want to know if it's going to play a lot like Rust or Seven Days to Die. Which in both games, I honestly just dug holes. I had a lot of fun with my friends without the hackers and all that wild stuff. But I really enjoyed digging holes. It was a lot of fun for me. So I'd really like to know if I can mine in this game. I know it doesn't seem like a selling feature to you, but it's a selling feature to me. So you in the audience, you let me know what you would want to ask the developers about Fallout 76. What's your big selling point for the game? Or do you just not give two hoots? I'd really like to know. In local news, Twitch Calgary is this weekend. So if you are local to Calgary, Alberta, even Saskatchewan or BC, just come on down. Have a good time with us. It's going to be an upper deck in Calgary downtown. Lots of good food there. Lots of good people. We'll have streaming PCs there. Other various demos. Various demos. I mean, I'm not going to list everything, but there's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on. A lot of Intel 8th Gen PCs. So you guys can check out the, the new Powerhouse machine. So pretty sweet. As well, Dave and I will be there. So, haha, announced. Official guests. In my heart, I'm a guest, but... I'm just an attendee. But you guys can come down, hang out, check out all the cool stuff, talk tech with us, talk gaming. It's gonna be a good time. Plus, I hear there's a hot wing contest, so don't wanna miss that. 
And our last, last little bit here as well, guys, something that's near and dear to my heart is we did our first game review, and I'm very excited about it. We did it for Banner Saga 2 Nintendo Switch. So go check that out, guys, as the third game comes out this week on Thursday. And if you're into tabletop RPGs, D&D, you should guys really check out uh, twitch.tv slash hyperrpg, as they're currently doing a unique playthrough of the Banner Saga on tabletop. And it's really, really cool. So it's every Tuesday for 7 p.m. for the next two weeks. Last night was the first episode, and I was like, oh my god, I can't stop watching. So it's fantastic. Great content, great game. So if you haven't played Banner Saga yet, now's the time as the third game comes out Thursday. Like I said, you get the, the three pack for like 50 bucks Canadian or 55 and it's totally worth it. So think of this game as, I'm going to do an impromptu review here. You heard it here first, guys. Think of it as Oregon Trail, but a lot more difficult and a lot more heavy hitting to your heart and soul. Because you actually get to learn to meet the characters, so... That's a TLDR version of it, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more depth in the character story, music, art. It's just amazing. So, that's the quickly done news for the week and, you know, weekly bit. So, thanks for checking this out and let's see what else I have to talk about. Yeet! So, let's talk about SDCC or San Diego Comic Con and a lot of things that came out of there. My biggest point and probably most, most exciting part has been Godzilla. Been a Godzilla fan for I don't even know how long. I mean, I'm 28 years old. But, I wouldn't say my whole life, but enough to be like, Whoa, Godzilla! It's really cool to see them bring the monsters into 2018 like this. And, essentially, Apocalypse movie. So, I'm pretty excited to see what they do with this. Especially since they're calling the monsters the Titans. And I'm like, oh, this is a pretty cool theme. Ancient gods and all that stuff. So, I'm really excited to see where they go with this. I mean, we saw Mothra. Very cute and adorable, very clearly. We saw Rodan blowing up a volcano. And, of course, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So, that was one of my biggest trailers. My other one was Shazam. I feel they've uh, encompassed who he is 100%. So I think it's going to be the first DC movie next to Wonder Woman that doesn't fail. So I'm, pr I'm pretty pumped. So maybe Warner Brothers finally got their uh, their stuff together and they made a decent film. The trailer looks fantastic. It looks like it's going to be funny. But we have no idea who the villain is yet. So I'm glad that it has not been revealed or leaked or anything yet. And probably one of the coolest pieces of tech and hardware is the Spider-Man edition PS4. I really want this. The controller's gorgeous. The entire system's beautiful. So, if you don't have a PS4 yet, this might be the bundle for you. As it's for me for a secret upgrade, which I hope my wife doesn't watch these videos. So, I'm getting a new PS4. And that's all my, my biggest takes on San Diego Comic Con. There's a lot, of course, there. So, what, for, what did you guys see from San Diego that was your, like, whoa moment? As there was a lot. So, let me know in the comments below. And our last bit of news for today... Pretty cool stuff. Of course, rumors about the new Xbox Next Generation, which is slated for 2019, 2020. Of course, that's all in the rumor mill. Nothing's confirmed, nothing's in stone here. But the one thing that has been talked about lots lately, especially since E3 by Microsoft specifically, has been their xCloud service. So, what is all this? Let's dive into it. So you heard it here second. Next Cloud service is on the way, as shared by The Verge. Looks like Microsoft is amping up development on the next gen Xbox alongside this xCloud service. Really a streaming only console, being hardware result only, result in a cheaper console overall, just so you guys are aware, as the hardware requirements would be a lot less to do that versus actually run the physical game. And this could be better for the environment since there won't be any physical discs or cases going to landfills or recycling. Not that recycling is wrong, but I mean if you go to your local GameStop or ED Games now, how many copies of Battlefront 1 do you see there that no one's playing? Titanfall 1, no one's playing. Those games sit there, they don't rot, they just sit there for like thousands of years. So that's something to consider when we have to make games. So now that we're hearing this new generation of streaming only, digital content only, I'm pretty excited about that because now the environmental footprint on these consoles and these developers is just gonna go down significantly. So I'm very excited about that. I like to see how Sony and Nintendo are gonna reply to this as I wanna know what they're up to. Are they gonna do the same thing? Are we gonna see this with the next gen stuff? I mean, Nintendo just downsized a little ADB cartridges. So I mean, that's a step in the right direction but are we going to see digital only in the future? How's this going to affect trade and use markets? I'm pretty, I'm pretty up in the air about this because I'm a, I'm a collector of retro stuff. You guys don't know that. I guess I've never said that in a video. But I love my retro stuff. So how's this going to affect the collectability of everything? Everything going to immediately go up in value since you can't get it anymore? So a lot of things to consider here. I mean, on one hand, super environmentally friendly. On the other hand, collectability goes way the heck up. So what do you guys think? xCloud give me the next big thing? Sounds like a rap group to me, but hey, I'm just here to tell you the news. So that's it for me this week, guys. Make sure you guys are following us on social media at 
Memory Express on Facebook and Twitter. Official Memory Express on Instagram. Links are obviously below as well if you guys want to check us out. And, of course, hashtag HyperX Family. You guys know about our Memory XP. That's right, MEXP, guys. Make sure you guys are commenting on the videos. Let us know what you guys thought. And between now and the end of August 31st, you guys have a chance to win one of three of the fantastic prizes from our friends at HyperX. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of that, being part of the community, and of course, well, having a good time. So thank you so much. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below. Liked it, hate it. Any other feedback? So until next week, guys.